Hey, look, there it is. Hang on, hang on. Is that any better? One, hey, look, no audio. Hang on. How about that? Is that much better? There you go. Hey, good morning, everybody. And welcome to uh, this Monday, April the 9th installment of Talk uh, Talk Radio. <laughs> Seven minutes in the morning. That's the name of the show. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you have more than one show that you do sometimes. You just get in a roll, you know. Anyway, that's why I like doing the shows at two different places here in the radio station. I could do either from both or both from either. But... um usually sitting here with you helps me get my thoughts coordinated so let's try that again hey there everybody good morning welcome to a to monday april the 9th installment of seven minutes in the morning my name is tom rigsby your host thank you for putting up with that little bit of a um i don't know i think in the biz we call that technical difficulties getting started and i shouldn't have them because i'm already on my second cup of coffee Anyway, why don't you grab a cup of coffee for the next seven minutes or so? I've got a topic for you, and uh, we'll hit that. If you happen to be listening on your favorite podcast catcher, that'd be, uh, let's see, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, any of those. Thank you so much for joining me. At some point, you need to head on over to Facebook. Just go to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll take you to the right Facebook page where you can leave me a comment like Joe has done this morning. Say hi. Let me know that you're out there listening. If you have questions, comments, show topic suggestions, all those are welcomed as well. And if you do happen to be watching here on Facebook, thank you for joining me. All right. So I titled this morning's episode, I believe, yesterday. Um, oh, by the way, thank you for the uh, birthday wishes yesterday. If you have left me a message on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter, promise y'all get to you. I'm working my way through all of those to say hi and thank you. Um, that was yesterday. That's one of those, you know, there are a couple of milestone days. Um, we generally people use the, the new year. First of January is one of those milestone days to say how to do last year. What am I going to do this year? Maybe make a new year's resolution, you know, that sort of thing. I do that a little bit earlier in the year, like right after Thanksgiving, the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, but, you know, whenever you do it, you always do it. You might not admit it. You might not write on your calendar, but you do do those things. And then around my birthday, I just, you know, kind of take a minute, step back and say, okay, I've been around the sun, you know, a few times. Uh, are things kind of on the right track or are there adjustments that I need to make? And so probably two years ago, I think it was two years ago, I came up with this statement I'm going to share with you this morning. And it's been, you've heard it before. It's kind of the cornerstone of my message these days. But I believe that we are each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed to do work that matters. That's what I believe. And that is, as I said, kind of the cornerstone, the basis for the things that I share with you. And I just wanted to take a minute and explain to you what some of those pieces mean and why I believe that. So each of us, I believe each of us, I think it's unique to each one of us. Our gifts and talents are not the same as anybody else. So if you try to gauge your measure of, you know, your um, level, that's what I was trying to think of. If you try to measure your level of success based on what other people are doing, you're not other people. And, and that's one of the, we talked about this a lot last week, but that, that's one of the great disservices that we do to ourselves is grading ourselves against someone else. The way you are gifted and talented is unique and it is only yours. That set belongs only to you. And so to look at me or anybody else and say, well, I'm not as far along as he is, or I'm not as far along as she is, or that business is doing better, that bi I'm better than them. None of that matters. None of it. Because it is unique to you. I believe each one of us is uniquely gifted and talented. We all have gifts and talents. 
and and those can be held by different people, but it is the unique application of those gifts and talents. That's what that's what sets you apart from everybody else. You may be gifted um, or talented with a great singing voice. I, for one, am not. I won't prove it to you. Just take my word for that. You may be talented in that way, and there are lots of people that are talented in that way, but the application of that is unique to you. And the role that you are supposed to play, the work that matters, that you're supposed to do, is unique to you. The application of that gift or that talent to create that work that matters, that is unique to you. And tomorrow we're going to talk a little bit about what comes with that. (laughs) Spider-Man. Spider-Man is a hint, okay? We'll get to that tomorrow. So I believe we are each, each one of us, has something unique. We're uniquely gifted, talented, and placed in geography and in time. Right? There might, let's, mm, there might have been (laughs) great philosophers throughout time. And I'm kind of glad that they didn't all exist in one time. Because then we would miss out on the cumulative effect of all of their wisdom. Right? So we're in, and within geography also. <clears throat> you know, I was talking about you being, maybe, for example, your unique gift or talent is a great singing voice. And in your area, in your space, y- you are that voice. Now, there may be somebody else with a similar gift and a similar work that they're supposed to do, but in a different place. All right. So we're each uniquely gifted, talented and placed both in time and geography to do work that matters. Matters to whom? Well, that is what we're going to talk about tomorrow. But I will give you a little bit of a preview. It it has to matter to you. And there's there are a couple of things that can indicate whether it matters to you, but then there are others that it matters to also. And that's really what I want to get into tomorrow. All right. So maybe that was a little bit of a recap, a little bit of a replay, whatever the case may be for you guys. Um, thanks for indulging me in that, but I, I, that's an important basis for all the things that we talk about here every day and just want to make sure, you know, I have a chance to record that, get that out there for posterity. And so that you, can hear it today. I believe. Look, I was telling somebody this story last week or two weeks ago that there are many days where I come to the microphone and I'm not really sure what my topic is going to be. I'm not really sure where our conversation is going to take us. But I do believe the same way that I believe we're each uniquely gifted, talented, and placed, I believe that the message that you get every day is the one that you are supposed to hear. Just have faith that way. So this is the first half. Tomorrow I want to talk to you about what you're supposed to do with your unique gifts and talents. And don't don't skip tomorrow. You'll be sorry if you did. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up there for today. Oh, I forgot to put my lower third on there. Hey, there's me. And seven minutes in the morning. And... There's the fast five. Just a quick reminder that if you are stuck, if you have results that you're trying to create, if you're not sure where to go next, fast five is where you should go next. Just go to tomrigsby.com slash fast five. That will get you signed up for this program completely free. It's six. I believe it's six sessions. Well, it's one intro, five sessions and a bonus. So that's seven, I guess. Seven sessions of video worksheets. Um, to kind of help you focus your thoughts uh, and figure out a game plan for moving forward. That's my free gift to you. If you would uh, benefit, could benefit from that or know someone that could, send them over. You go over and visit first so you can tell them how beneficial it is and then send everybody else over. One more sip of coffee. All right, that's it for today. You guys have a magnificent Monday. I'll be back again tomorrow with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Talk to you then.